All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at two different pairs of sunglasses. One are the Smith Long Fins, which are the ones I got right here. I've been wearing them for about four weeks. They sent me a pair of sunglasses, do a review, so that's what I'm doing today. And then the other is the Smith's um, Guide Series, which I've had for a year or two now. So I'm just gonna fish, check out visibility, see how it goes, and just talk what I feel, and then uh, let you guys know. We're going to take a look at, you know, kind of give you a shot at looking through the lenses themselves. So here we've got the long fins and we're just going to kind of take a look. And again, this isn't really going to represent light getting through because obviously it's not wrapped around my eyes, but you can kind of see, um, you know, pretty good visibility. And now we're going to take a look at the guides. So here we are now looking through the guides. And again, I think the guides do have a little bit more pop, in my opinion. Okay, there you go. All right, and then also just FYI, we're throwing Rapala, a little gold shiner looking thing, a little X-Wrap. And I've already actually plucked two fish out of the water before I even really got my camera gear going this morning, so. Anywho, that's a good start. Definitely means it's the right lure. So let me just kind of see what I can pull off here. In terms of visibility, I mean, like, again, it's Smith. It's got the Chroma Pop there. These glasses are awesome. I have no issue, concern, feeling like I'm not getting the right visibility down into the water. I, I can see everything, honestly, crystal clear. I can see feet and feet and feet of vegetation deep. Um, in terms of light kind of breaking through and around the sunglasses yeah i mean there's there's minimal amounts but again it's 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 actually i can feel it hitting my face the the light or the sun but not necessarily as like an, a distraction um at all it's actually more it probably is a good thing you know some of those fishing sunglasses and specifically the smith guides they're so blocked out that honestly, you come away with uh, a long day of fishing, you come away with raccoon eyes, you know, like just the suntan and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I get the sense that that's a little less with these sunglasses, just cause again, light does break around and through. It just doesn't break around in such a meaningful way to where it's actually in your eye um, and impacting your ability to kind of like see through into the water. So now I'm gonna switch over to the guide series. Kind of get a little bit of comparison. Alright. Okay, so hands down, guides are better in terms of blocking light. I mean, there's nothing getting through here right now. Um, and that's, I mean, that's because these glasses are literally designed only for fishing. And when you're thinking about fishing, all you want to do is control how much light is getting into your sunglasses. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're literally own both of these pairs of sunglasses and you had to choose between one or the other to go fishing that day, you're going to choose the guides because, frankly, why wouldn't you? I mean, that's just that's that's the sole purpose of what you're doing that day. But I think when you start to talk about what I was saying earlier, which is you know. I kind of like to wear sunglasses. If I'm gonna spend 200 bucks on a pair of sunglasses, maybe I can wear them throughout the week. Maybe stylistically, I could wear them out with my buddies when I'm hanging or even with my wife on a date, things like this. And all of a sudden, you know, you start getting into that zone. And again, not to say that you can be fully embracing the world of, oh, there's a bass chasing it, dang it. Um, anywho, if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a little bit more flexibility with your $200, then honestly, the long fin wins, in my opinion. Um, if you got that monies, I mean, might as well get both. If you're like most people, and you don't got that monies, um, and you care about style, or whatever, just wearing glasses recreationally and not only being called out as wearing fishing sunglasses, I think long fins is the way to go. I, I don't think you'll regret in terms of visibility or anything like that. All right, time to catch some fish.
Thank you.